four, three, two, one. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? What's going on? What up? We got my husband, Illis, here. It's backwards on my shirt. We got it's the Illis. Sun has been on my channel quite a bit, but this is like the first introduction to you on my channel. I don't think I've ever even recorded it in front of you, right? Mm. No, I always say. I always tell you to leave. When you gonna leave? We're gonna start a new segment called the Upside Down Smiley Show, and it's going to be with a guest because I feel like I like having conversations. I feel like we should talk about what you do a little bit, what you yeah, do, sure. who you is, how the people, how the people, how the people. What? My name is Sanu. I go by DJ Illist. Uh, I am her husband, first of all, and I am a DJ, a drummer, a percussionist, beatboxer. Uh, owner of Do It All Entertainment, shameless plug. I'm a performer, so I um, I do private events, I do festivals, I do bars, clubs. Yeah, he's killing it. So make sure um, you follow him. I'm his manager. Maybe start and, here. Yeah, yeah, link. yeah. I'll link in the a link in the box. I'm just trying to do stuff <laughs> that I see on YouTube. We do um, Facebook Lives every Thursday, yeah. and we're doing an event next week. Today we're going to talk about marriage. So we've been married for two and a half years, but we've been together for almost nine years. Mm -hmm. So I have a few questions I was going to ask him, and then we are going to kind of have a conversation and just see how this goes. What is it like being married to me? You? We dated for so long, so it was only right that uh, it's time to uh, take it to the next level. Living together, right? Living together and getting married, it's probably huge for us. So far, it's been nothing but... We gotta wait till the train tracks. Train tracks. Train tracks, hold please. We did it for so long, it didn't really change as much. But mm -hmm. living together was 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 huge, and we did live together what three months before our wedding. We be living in sin. You honestly is letting me do me. Uh, that's like number one thing. You kind of just letting me uh, be myself, kind of doing what I love, which is awesome. Um, and it took a while for me to make that decision, but you were there just pushing me and and. Um, you and my brother are actually two of the people that pushed me to do uh, what I love and here I am, um, happy and uh, and that's pretty much what you bring. You sweet. Hashtag corny. But being married to a DJ, you um, you wake up in the middle of the night because he be coming home late. But Sun is a really good dude. He like is a huge supporter, just a really good person. We ain't gonna get emotional on here. Just a really good dude. My best friend. Okay, next question. <laughs> Before you got married, what did you expect? Somebody that can love you and be there for you uh, no matter what, like any situation. Like just, or waking up to somebody that, that, you, that you really love. I guess like for me, I didn't have any huge expectations for marriage. I knew it was gonna be hard. Oh, yeah. I didn't really, I didn't really see the huge thing about like getting married, but then on the flip side, I kind of feel like you get that pressure to get married, like it's like right. the next step. But I was just like, eh, is it really needed? Is it more than just a piece of paper? Um, like even like little things like getting married in a church that wasn't that, that significant to me. But now that it's happened and now that it's like a part of my life, I, I see the importance of like making a commitment. Mm -hmm. And then I see also the importance of getting married in a church and getting the blessing of our parents and the blessing mm -hmm. of his grandmother and the all the prayers from our um, family, and family and whatnot. Makes sense. Yeah. So what's your favorite part of being married? Coming home. Coming home from like an event or from, from you know. From, I'm from, usually from, sleeping. Coming home knowing that you're there. There's times when you're home and you're awake. Like run to the door. We do the slide motion thing we do. <laughs> Recently, I've also just been like waking up and been like, how was it? And I'm like, I, I feel like I'll fall asleep before you even respond. <laughs> I feel like that's my thing too, like having a partner. Yeah. And I know that we're so lucky and you, yes. out, if, if you're single out there, like, and you want to have a partner, um, it's like such a beautiful thing and I, I know that's going to happen for you, but don't rush into it because the right partner is worth yeah. it and you'll know um, when it is the right person and it's scary sometimes as you get older and that's probably a whole nother video to talk about like you know a pressure. video a video to my single ladies like the pressure mm -hmm. um, you know wanting to be in a relationship wanting to have kids and all that and like not being at oh. that point in your life or is it me is it me that's I yeah know, yeah like, yeah but like, like when what? it's the right person it's just like 
it's you know, yeah. and it it's not like it's not going to be hard because there's challenges to a relationship, there's challenges to marriage, there's compromises, nothing's freaking easy, but like the partnership and the mm -hmm. bond is not hard. You know it. I mean, I know everyone says that, but you definitely know it when you when, when that's the right person. And then the last question when we going to be real, what is the hardest part about being married? Huh. The hardest part. I didn't tell him the question, so <laughs> that's why he's surprised. <laughs> I know arguments happen, but like mm -hmm. not uh, when you're not when you both are not on the same page. Yeah. It's like ah, it's like frustrating because you, you know what you you're talking about or like what you mean, but then the other person doesn't really understand. But the best way is to talk it talk talk it out. Um, or explain what you mean by it, what you said. It's just, yeah, I think the argument of, of um, some things that we don't agree on. Mm -hmm. um, and that's gonna happen regardless, right? But, right, two different people. You have to remember, even if you've been like dating for a long time, or you know, you've talked about every single thing, you come from two very different families and different values, different upbringing. I feel like that's like probably yeah. the hardest thing for me is like, coming to compromises in those situations. The way you, the way you grew up is, is huge. Makes it really different. Yeah, like, we, we, have talked like, about it. we have like very different backgrounds. Parenting. And I think that's huge. a huge part of who we are. We are similar, yeah, but, but there's a lot of things yeah. that are different in how we are raised. Like yeah. my, I was born here, my parents came here when they were in their 20s, son is family like they have been here for a long time but they're right. just like much more traditional yeah. and that's great like he's bringing that into my life and then you know like some of the more liberal thoughts and um different ways of doing things are introduced to his life so you expect the other person to kind of understand it right away but you know they how might not know to know Teaching your parents how they how their relationship is totally different from, from what i heard your parents are doing and well, my parents, you know, were two different. Uh, my parents are very traditional. They were, I've never even seen them hug. Our relationships with our parents are yeah. a little different. Like, you have a great relationship with your parents. For sure. And I have a great relationship with my parents. But, but they're just different. Different way yeah. how we, how we um, I don't know, how we connect yeah. with, with my parents. Way different than right. how she connects with her parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. huge because it's like traditional versus like, I don't know, Americanized. I see it as like that. I definitely feel like I'm much more Americanized than uh, you. It's but like, way different. It's, I still feel like being Indian is a part of my identity. That's so. dope. Yeah, Anyways. That's it, y'all. <laughs> that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. We are going to be doing these weekly videos with new people every single week. I'd love to have you here in my living room in front of our exposed brick wall. <laughs> and just talk about random topics what you want to talk about just have a conversation I honestly prefer to talk to someone than just like to do this on my own make you tea if you want tea you yeah yeah tea. yeah we were originally gonna call it tea time with Shereen or a drink I guess I don't know yeah we, you want. we got whatever I, I want you here in my home um connecting comfortable and just talking about something that's important to you and I want to thank you for having me as a first guest yeah 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 bye, 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 bye. Yeah, it's time <laughs> Please it's subscribe below. I post videos every single week. We're gonna be doing the upside down smiley show. Thank you to DJ yeah, Illis no for being on my show. Thank you guys for watching. And bye. Yeah. Peace. See you at the next event.